In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on August 28, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Milwaukee Brewers vs. Chicago Cubs The top two teams in the National League Central will go head-to-head -head on Monday when the Chicago Cubs host the Milwaukee Brewers in Wrigley Field. Milwaukee is leading the division with a 72-57 record by four games, and they have won their last seven in a row. Meanwhile, Chicago is clinging to a playoff spot with a 68-61 record. But Cincinnati and San Francisco are two of several teams right behind them in the playoff race. The Cubs have won seven of their last ten heading into this contest. Chicago has won six of its last eight overall, and the Cubs have won 14 of the last 21 playing against a team from the National League. Chicago has the 12th best team batting average in baseball, while Milwaukee struggles at the plate with a team batting average that is 27th. Milwaukee starting pitcher Wade Miley has given up 12 hits and seven runs over the last 10 innings pitched across two starts with Milwaukee going 1-1 one one in the two. Miley was on the mound July 4th when Milwaukee lost to Chicago 7-6 and the left-hander gave up four runs in five innings. Although Chicago starter Jameson Talon has a disappointing 5.6 earned run average, the Cubs have won seven of the right-handers' last nine starts including this past Wednesday when defeating Detroit 6-4. Milwaukee is on fire right now and they have proved they can win on the road with a 35-30 record on the year. Chicago is currently holding a wild-card spot in the National League but they are 29-36 against teams better than .500. Wade Miley has been the better starter over the course of the season compared to Jameson Talon, and the bullpen for the Brewers has been lights out, with Devin Williams leading the way. So the Milwaukee Brewers' money line is our full game side pick. The Brewers have totaled at least nine runs or more with their opponents in their last five games in a row while the Cubs done the same in six of their last seven games. Clearly, both teams are hot on the offensive side of the game and the Cubs quietly have the third most runs scored in the National League. Considering there are significant playoff implications on the line with this series, I suspect players will be looking to hit and provide to help their team more than ever before. This should be a great series between two teams battling for the National League Central and the Cubs will have the home field advantage. Milwaukee will bring their eight-game winning streak into Wrigley Field in this game and they will have Wade Miley on the mound, who has allowed three earned runs or fewer in five straight outings. Chicago is starting Jameson Talon, who has allowed 14 earned runs in his last three starts. Both teams have hit the ball well recently and with Talon's recent struggles. Both teams have been able to score runs in bunches over the course of their respective hot runs, but we've also seen Miley against the Cubs once and Talon against the Brewers and both of those games flew over the total. This is set up for an intense series between the top two teams in the National League Central, and I have confidence the bats will come alive as they have done recently. I think this has potential to see offensive fireworks this entire series, and I look for this game to be no different. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Pittsburgh Pirates vs. Kansas City Royals When September rolls around this upcoming weekend, neither the Pittsburgh Pirates nor the Kansas City Royals will be concerned about October preparations. However, before September even begins, these central-based teams have a three-game set that will close out August 2023. Pittsburgh and Kansas City last squared off in 2021, with the Royals taking three of four that year. The final two games, Kansas City wins, were in the K and Kauffman Stadium will be the venue for all three in 2023. Ovido needs to bag another good start, though. In his last outing versus the Cardinals, Ovido was great with five innings and one earned in a win. In his previous two, however, Ovido went 0-2 with 10 earned and nine total frames. On Sunday, the Pirates' offense didn't come through with just four hits, and it was a tough day for Bailey Falter and Jose Hernandez. It's going to take a strong outing from Ovido, not to mention some input from the offense, but I think Pittsburgh can stay in range and should have a decent shot at a W in this opener. For as poorly as both seasons have 
have unraveled. Pittsburgh is the much better team. The offenses in this game should be about even, as should the starting pitchers. So, if this comes down to the relievers, the Pirates have a massive edge. Monday's game will probably be tight late before the Pirates score late and shut the door on the Royals. So the Pittsburgh Pirates' money line is our full game side pick. Starting for the Pirates is Joe Ovito, who has allowed fewer than two runs during four of his past six starts. His assignment in this one is a Royals offense that's 28th in runs per game. The home team is trusting Zach Grank, who has been a much better pitcher at home. He'll take on a Pittsburgh lineup that's only 24th in runs per game and fares worse on the road. Most of the scoring in this game will probably come late, but there won't be enough time to hit double digits. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Atlanta Braves vs. Colorado Rockies The Atlanta Braves will head out to Denver to begin a three-game set with the Colorado Rockies this Monday from Coors Field. The pitching splits this season show a major difference as Bryce Elder is 4-3 with a 3.86 earned run average and a .237 opposing batting average in 11 road starts while Austin Gomer is 5-4 with a 7.06 earned run average and a .314 batting average against in 14 home starts this year. Both teams have played 39 games since the All-Star break and there is a major difference here as the Braves are averaging 6.21 runs per game while the Rockies are scoring 4.56 runs per game in that stretch. The Braves continue to pile up the wins, and they rarely lose games they shouldn't. The Braves have the best offense in baseball, and that should thrive in a friendly Coors Park. Bryce Elder has been solid with his 3.39 earned run average and 1.2 WHIP. Austin Gomer has a 5.48 earned run average and 1.47 WHIP. The Rockies aren't scoring runs, just an all-around bad matchup for the home team. So the Atlanta Braves to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Gomer's high home earned run average and the Braves' impressive road splits suggest Atlanta will have a field day in the batter's box tomorrow night. The Braves score 5.7 runs per game on the road and are averaging 6.5 runs per game overall in August. They have scored 6.2 runs per game since All-Star Weekend. Elder's road earned run average is nearly 4 and he's had a few subpar outings recently, losing starts versus the Cubs and Pirates. He has surrendered 5 or more runs in 4 of his last 8 starts. While I don't anticipate a poor outing from the young righty tomorrow, keeping the ball in the yard at Coors Field can be difficult. When diving into the previous seven starts for these pitchers, they are giving up runs as Bryce Elder is 3-2 with a 4.58 earned run average and a 1.21 WHIP during 37.1 innings of work while Austin Gomer is 1-2 with a 3.79 earned run average and a 1.46 WHIP and 40.1 innings during that stretch. When looking at the offenses in the last few weeks, these teams have been clicking in the back batter's box as Atlanta is scoring 5.25 runs in 12 games while Colorado is averaging 5.77 runs in their last 13 games. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.